Right now, we're in a predicament where we're at my grandma's house one night or somebody's house that I know for a night. But we're trying really hard. Like, I'm trying to get on DSS full time. But in between that, you know, out here working and everything, it's hard to do a bunch of things at once. And I'm still in school, so that's even harder for me to do all, everything I got to do. So, my plan and his plan is we going to eventually try to get a place or we'll get ourselves back up to where we were. Uh, and after that, try to go to Florida or California. But right now, it's going to take a couple years to do what we got to do at the pace we're going. Which isn't the pace we originally planned on. Yeah. But, uh, Things don't turn out like you planned, so... got kicked out of the shelter because I saw a girl get Whoa. smacked and he stood up for her and I backed him up and we both got kicked out and they got it on camera that yeah. we we were plotting against the whole house and they, they were saying that we got it uh, they got it on camera of us plotting the whole house and, and shit like that basically that that's why we're on the streets now but before that I got kicked out of my pop's house um, over petty stuff and then uh moved in with my uh ex-girlfriend and just got into it with her and her baby dad so then ever since then it's just been really really hard like i'm out here every day trying to hustle up a couple of dollars get something to eat or get a cigarette and there's ever since the shelter on uh it's behind St. Mary's on Ardmore Street he's been with us he's been with me and we've been trying to work it out together He's got a longer story. I'm originally from Florida, and I didn't have no place to stay up here. And like, well, I didn't have no else to stay in Florida, but my sister up here said she that I could live with her. I had an income, 573 a month, cause uh, survivor benefits. But I turned 18, I graduated from school, so it got dropped off. I registered for food stamps, or signed, signed up for food stamps. And she spent all of them and kicked me out two weeks later. You know what we had to do to get these? You would even, you would even, you know how hard weeding is? You ever weed a garden? We do everything. Make, anything to make a dollar, we'll do it. Clean your house, do your yard, roof, siding, gutters, brick laying. I'm like, see me personally, I don't see how I got in this position because I'm, I'm a handy man. I, you know, I'm smart. I can do any type of job. I'm a fast learner. I don't see how I got like this. Like, I was sitting down with him last night. Like, we both sitting like, man, how, how we both came from like good homes, good people, and then not in less than what a week or two. Yeah, not much. Like things happen quick. Is to own my own construction and landscaping company. I'm still trying to keep that up there. You know, I still go around with the people I used to uh, know. You know, I do a little work from every now and then, a little landscaping, a little construction, brickling. Uh, the other day, uh, little last week, we had a uh, roofing, not a roofing job, but a, uh, uh, I had to putty up, clean, like fix a leak on the roof. Uh, that, I didn't like that job. <laughs> okay. Uh, before that, I had a. Uh, the other day, like two days ago, I had a little landscaping job, a little mulching, which is the little wood chips that be on the ground, a little mulch, around some plants. I'm trying to keep my dream straight, you know, that's the only dream I have left. Uh, I don't, my dreams, but getting kids, that's like out of, that's out of picture right now because of the state I'm in. You know, uh, you gotta be able to afford yeah, you gotta be able to afford that. So landscaping is like my dream and roofing, you know, it's just, I got like, Pretty much for me, ever since my stepdad died, I, like my life has been going downhill. Like it's bad luck that he died or whatever. But, uh, 
but it's going to get better from rock bottom. So once you got to rock bottom, it, it gets better eventually. Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to reach rock bottom. I'm trying to stay above rock bottom because, as Eminem said, rock bottom is when you just don't care or anything, you know, when you've given up on life. So, you know, I'm not trying to get to that point to where I just give up on everything because I do have a dream. And I'm going to try to achieve my dream as best as I can. If not, just because you've hit rock bottom doesn't mean you've given up on everything. You can still, you can still get to that point to where you want to get back up there. But, you know, if not, nah, if I can't, if I don't reach my goals, you know, my stepdad always told me just go with the flow. You know? Hey, the other day I found, like, I was down on my luck. I was, I was hungry. I was looking for something to eat. I was done looking through trash cans. Next thing I know, I found a $20 bill on the grass. And I was stoked. I bought me some lunch. And I just saved it. Eventually, like, over the period of time, the days that I've spent that $20. $20 lasted us. Three days, cause we spent the wise. We just bought food with it. We bought them like two dollar burritos yeah, and uh, like, chimichangas from corner stores. Uh, dollar slice of pizza. You no, know, like spent the wise. Fifty cent bags of chips, yeah. and quarter juices. <laughs> it really uh, does. I, you know, I used to actually, you know, pick out homeless people. Then uh, about uh, that a four or five, but no, about a year ago, you know. I see this homeless dude and he was in an awful shape and like ever like when I was making money I'd be downtown and I see somebody you know I'll give him a cigarette or two or give him a couple of dollars yeah or I'll take him to the pizza place down at Main Estate inside the building you know buy him a slice of pizza you know give him something to eat and I, I never thought I was gonna be like I never did like never thought I was gonna be this way you know every night trying to figure out where we're gonna stay what, what you're gonna eat how you're gonna get it. I wake up every morning, go to school, leave school at 12 o'clock, and from then on, it's just trying to find something to eat. Trying to find dinner, trying to find, like, get hungry, trying to find something to eat. You know, my first night in the shelter, I cried the whole night because I'm like, how did I end up like this? You know, and then I met him in the shelter the next day, next, what, two days after, yeah, next day, and, uh, yeah, actually we started talking, and, you know, he told me, just don't, don't think about the past, just think about now, think about where you're going to go from here. He was in the shelter, I believe, a week before me. And, you know, I still look back, like, how did I end up here? You know, I try to look back to what led up to me being homeless. And, like, the behaviors I used to do, it's like, I can't figure it out. At all. It's hard. Well... I'm not, I'm not trying to reach rock bottom, I'm trying to stay above rock bottom because as Eminem said, rock bottom is when you just don't care or anything, you know, when you've given up on life. So, you know, I'm not trying to get to that point to where I just give up on everything because I do have a dream and I'm going to try to achieve my dream as best as I can.